Mike, how exciting is it to be back? Well, it's very exciting. Uh, this is what we do. This is what we love to do. And um, hey. players are focused and and we're excited. We're excited. And we only have a week to go to the first exhibition game, so uh, we're hitting it uh, the ground running. But uh, it's great to do it. What's the latest on Tyson Chandler, and what do you expect him to bring to this ball club? Well, uh, the latest uh, changes every second, but we're really interested in him, and uh, uh, he would be a great addition to the team. Um, obviously, the first thing that he's going to bring is the anchor, the defense. Um, I know from USA Basketball that he's one of the best teammates that you could have. I know that he's improved in every offensive category in the last couple of years, foul shooting, finishing at the rim. Uh, he's doing all that. He was always a great defensive player, but now he's adding offense to it. And uh, he's 28 years old and one of the best people that you can be around. So I don't see any negatives whatsoever with him. Coach, what was it like working with just seven guys in practice today? Um, a lot of eye contact. You don't. <laughs> it's uh, it was tough the first day. I, I've done this before, and we had the other lockout a few years back. But um, uh, I think everybody's excited to be here, and the ones that are here are very is impressive. Just how they came in shape and uh, their bodies and and ready to go. And uh, uh, everybody was uh, focused and uh, knowing that we don't have many days to put things in, and uh, we'll have to repeat it once we get the team filled out. But uh, we had a great practice today for what we could do. Now, Mike, do, you, do you think the 66 game schedule helps or, or hurts a team like yours? Uh, since we don't really have a team yet, uh, it, it's not going to, it, it's tough, but it's tough for everybody. So it's exactly the same playing field. And it is what it is. As a player, all they do is play and not practice. They don't have to listen to me. I would be happy as heck. As a coach, it makes it a little bit more difficult to, uh, to get the rookies up to speed, to get the guys. But we do have a lot of guys back from last year. So it's not much of a stretch of what we're doing. We just have to brush it back up and, uh, and get them ready physically. Mike, How would you rate a front line of Amari, Chandler, and Carmelo? About as good as it gets. I don't know if anybody else in the league is better. What kind of adjustment is that for those three guys to play together in the front court? I think it'll be an easy adjustment uh, just because they're, they're all three veteran, smart, and talented basketball players and, and what their skills complement each other. And uh, uh, that's what makes it exciting is that they will, they will be the best three in the league. You've been around Tony for a while. Is he capable of running the offense? Tony, oh, yeah. Tony, Tony uh, last year, I think when Chauncey went down, we were four and two. Uh, with a new team, uh, I have all the confidence in the world in it. With the front court all set, the back court is still in a little bit disarray. I assume there's going to be more moves made. Is there anything you can share with us? Well, disarray, I, I wouldn't go quite that far. The, we are a little thin. Uh, but Tony has done a great job. He keeps improving all the time. But, you know, we, we are going to look more like uh, an old Celtic team in the sense of when they had Parrish, McHale, and Bird, and the ball went through Bird, and they had Dennis Johnson and uh, Danny A's, two smart players, but you wouldn't say they were point point guards. They were guys that uh, were the old uh, Chicago team. You have long, rangy guards that can defend and make shots, and we'll have that. So now you're going to be coaching some defense with this group. I mean, is that exciting for a ball club that's been more of an offensive-minded club? Well, yeah. Well, you know, again, Every coach tries to do both sides or both sides of the ball as good as they can do, and and you try to win basketball games. So I don't expect our offense to slip any. If not, it should be better, and our defense should be much better, and that should lead to some good things. Now you were excited to get back to work, but when you heard the addition of Chandler, what did that bring as far as your excitement? Well, just because I know him from uh, from USA Basketball, you get doubly excited and. We know how important that position is, and we know how important defense is. We know how important rebounding is. So we just, we just shored up a, a big spot that's that's it leads to winning. And he did win a championship last year, and and hopefully that'll you know we can get close to that this year. When do you think Chandler will be here? I have no idea. They're they're trying to, you know, they're still in the process of doing things, and I, I don't know. I just keep hoping. What would it mean for this franchise to have their first real defensive presence in the middle since Patrick Ewing? Yeah, we couldn't get Patrick, so we had to go with Ty. <laughs> <laughs> um, that would be great. Uh, you know, it's not easy to get that, and you try to make the, uh, the best of what you have, and uh, sometimes things fall in your lap that, uh, wow, look at this, and uh, 
uh, if we can get this deal done, then uh, we we were very lucky and fortunate to be able to, to be able to get a player like him. Coach, you can only play with the cards that are dealt your way. I have to assume that there's going to be other cards that are dealt your way. You expect more moves well, by the team. Well, we only have eight or nine guys, so yeah, we're going to have some other moves. But you know, don't expect us to be able to just do anything. We're going we're going to get guys that that we can trust. But again. I'm not, I'm not um, uh, shorting any of the guys that we had, and I think they're a lot better than most people give them credit. And, and when people say, "Oh, Knicks don't have anything," that kind of irks me a little bit because we have some very good young players that can play, and I expect them to step up. and uh, And uh, this will be a great opportunity for them. What did you think when you heard the Chris Paul trade was fly? You know, I was so into what we we're trying to do that it was on another planet, and. Just news like everybody else. You go, oh, look at that, and just go on. But I'm so excited about trying to get our guys ready and uh, and what we can make that didn't spend a whole lot of time other than the water cooler talk like everybody else.